must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Breath of the Wild for you today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. I actually waited like, uh, I waited probably like 10 minutes after booting up the game to start recording so that I wouldn't have to sit in a thunderstorm with you guys because I had to sit through a thunderstorm. It finally just got over, it's a little bit cloudy, it's about to be sunny here in a few minutes. So, anyways, that little area down there is really interesting to me. I always want to go explore, but I really want to get that shrine. And I think we should be able to do it either by just flying over there and climbing up or by doing a bomb blast. And I'm, <laughs> I'm so lazy, but I, I kind of want to just try doing a bomb blast. But, all right, now, nah, I, I use bomb blast too much. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. Jump over there and climb up. Hopefully I can actually do that. If we stick around long enough at this uh, Skull Lake, I, apparently the Fang and Bone is a very popular shop that everybody around town keeps talking about. And I kind of want to see what it's all about. So we'll probably uh, do that. I know there's another shrine nearby that we can do as well. So... If I finish this one and it's not nighttime yet, we go do the other one, come back, and it'll probably be night. And we can check out the Fang and Bone. If not, we can always just make a fire and rest until night. It's not a big deal. And no matter what. Hey, we did the quest. Cool. I'm just sipping on some uh, Earl Grey tea, guys. Enjoying life. It's a rainy day. It's also my son's birthday. He turned six years old today. So happy birthday. And, uh, yeah. What? It's just a blessing? Wow. I didn't think I really proved much. I only climbed like 20 feet. All right, cool. What do we get? A flame blade. I'm gonna chuck on that tree branch. Just a minor upgrade here. Not even a two-handed one either. I love that. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you, kind sir. That's uh, that's a very generous gift. And I would love to have the spirit orb. Flame flame blade's nice and all, but you know, master sword. Now that is a weapon that I would like to have. Alright. Hey, we only need six more orbs, guys. Six more, I think. And we get the Master Sword. And uh, three more heart containers. Alright, well, I guess we're going to look for that other shrine now. Using more of an effect imparting ingredient when cooking will increase that effect in the resulting dish. More of an effect imparting ingredient. Okay. Using more potent ingredients makes more potent results. Is that what it's trying to say? Should I jump down here? Like, that is a long descent. There's really nothing else down there except the fang and bone. Uh, let's just do it. So apparently, he's only here at night. Oh wow, this, this water has giant flowers underneath. Do you see them? Wow. I need the Zora armor from uh, Majora's Mask, man. Then I could actually swim around like like crazy underwater. I don't see anything under there. All right, so he's not here. Let's uh, uh, let's just make a fire. Uh, let's find my wood, my firewood, firewood. There we go. Got the firewood, and we need some flint in here. Got some flint. We're just gonna go like this and. Uh, Guess you don't need firewood when you got a flame blade. Didn't think about that. 
And uh, we're gonna sl we're gonna chill until night. We're gonna meditate. Hey, look at who dropped in! Holy cow! You must have literally dropped in from the sky. It's a giant balloon thing. All right. It's Kilton. Hoya! Hmm. Oh, it's just a Hylian. Who are you? Me? My name's Kilton. I suppose you're here because you heard I was opening a monster shop and you wanted to see it for yourself. Yeah, you probably put out a lot of advertising there, didn't you, buddy? You look crazy, too. The Fang and Bone. I like that name. It's a cool name for like a medieval inn or fantasy inn. Here's your business card. Fang and Bone, come see old Kilton for the most monstrous deals in all of Hyrule. I'm uh, I'm actually gonna need that card back. It's the only one I have. Anyway, uh, do you uh, are you into monsters? I like them. How uh, how much do you like them? I adore my. Look at his face. He's like, how much do you like them? I adore monsters. <laughs> I love monsters more than you. Hey. I uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I did it again. I just love the field of monster research so much, I decided to open a shop. Alright, yeah, you told me. Let's just actually see what you got for sale, bro. Let's see what you got for sale. Alright. Wait. What? And that's why you don't skip the chat. I think he said, uh... Lurlin, like he's at different places basically. Now we gotta find him at different places. Uh, okay. Oh, I forgot we need to do this quest find the fairy fountain. Alright, uh, well, that was the Fang and Bone, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. Now, where were we? Ah, uh, yes. So. I guess let's warp back up here, up to the top. Because the other shrine is a little bit out of this uh, massive crater or pit, whatever it is. And there ain't no way I'm climbing out of this. It would take the entire episode just to climb it out. Alright. So, wait is it? I need to go to the green... Oh, it's way up there, isn't it? Dang, that's a, that's a far... That's a far one. Oh boy. That's a really far one. Yep. So, alright. We're going to uh, Kakariko Village, guys. We're going to Kakariko because... There it is. I'm going to do this quest where I got to take a picture of the Great Power... <laughs> great Fairy Fountain. And um, that's an easy quest, so I want to do it. And also, maybe we can upgrade our armor a little bit more. After this, guys, I feel like it's time. We need to go back to the horse god shrine. Offer up the 2,000 rupees. So that we can bring back to life our dear lost friends, Cookie and Epona. Who valiantly lost their lives. I found him! By jumping off of a cliff and dying. Ah, so we will rec we will get th them back. Wait a minute. Wow, it's a shrine way at the top of the Dueling Peaks. All right, um, Fang and Bone Dude is is right there. He's right there. But how do I get up there? I can't believe we found him that fast. Oh man, I wish I had the Zora armor. We could just swim up the waterfall. Oh my goodness. I do have a lot of stamina recovery potions, I mean. But this is a this is a long climb either way. When you only got one wheel of stamina. Let's let's get over here real quick so I can 
restart here a little higher. Come on, Link. You, you're you're out of shape. Yeah, let's get up on the on the house at the very least. Now this will be a little bit easier of a climb up there, maybe. No Korok seeds up here. No Korok seeds. Just kind of feel like I hear one, but okay. Come on, Link. I just want to. There we go. All right, so it's not that big of a climb. We got it. I always get sidetracked. I come to a location to do something, and then the game just has to throw something so enticing, I can't ignore it. And then I forget why I even came to the area. This happens all the time in this game, and I absolutely love it. All right, uh... Oh yeah, oh yeah, I made it. All right, where is he? I know you're up here, dude. I saw you. You literally teleported from that lake to Kakariko Village. We meet again. <laughs> I can't believe I found him this fast. Oh, it's just you. Like, I had no idea he was here. My monster shop is now open. Seeing as you're a first-time customer... Our first order of business will be converting your monster parts to Mon. Okay. Alright, let's exchange some for Mon. I don't need that Mitch Mon, so... Uh, ooh. Farosh is not a monster. Come on, man. Uh, the key swings are really... Like, I'll never use them, so... I'm gonna do those and most of the regular chew jellies. Let's give him, like... Let's just give him 50 of these. I'm pretty sure if you... If you strike a regular blue chew jelly with, like, a enchanted blade, like a fire sword or ice sword, I think they'll turn into that element. Alright, I got 100 mon... That didn't really give me a lot of mon. Oh, I see. They give me different amounts. Well, these give me three each, so... Let's do 50 of these as well. I find these all over the place, man. Got 250 mon. Alright. That's, that's about all I want to give you right now, dude. Let's see, uh, let's see what we can buy with our money. A wooden mop. Just what I always wanted. Now let's get the Pokoblin map mask. It will uh, let me blend in with them, I guess. <laughs> All right, bud. That that was actually. Let's just take the monster extract. It's only nine mon. I'll just buy them all. Why not? Why not? All right, bud. All right, see you later, dude. Let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so bad. I like how I'm like, oh, woo, woo -ha, woo -ha. All right, uh, let's see. I need to go. Let's, cl let's actually climb up here. I guess I'll leave the mask on for a little while. And uh, we need to go behind Kakariko a little bit. Yeah, Great Fairy Fountain. It's actually like up in those woods. It's actually right there. I can literally see it. So, uh, yeah. I love flying over a village. It looks so cool. Cute little village. I would be very happy in life just living in a little village like this. Alright, <laughs> right in the mountains, just epic like that. Hey! Holy cow. Come back here. Dang, I don't know how much money I made, but that was pretty epic hitting him with that ice arrow. He's back! My duplex bow. Whatever shall I do? Where'd he go? 
Oh, you know what? I I might be able to get here, guys. Some actual fairies. Yes. Fairies. No, don't fly away. Am I not sneaky enough? Oh my gosh, don't fly away, please. Please don't fly. Pl All right, well, we got one fairy. Fairies are extremely useful in master mode, as you guys have seen in previous episodes. And of course, is this silent princess. Very unfortunate that I did not get the fairies. Oh look, they're respawning. Nice. Let's just walk away a little bit and then we'll come back and I bet you the fairy will be back. We got two fairies now? I see. Where? Yep, I got two fairies. Perfect. I'm just gonna walk over here a little bit. Okay. You didn't run away from me when I wasn't using the sneaking gear. And now that I have, you run away. Just gonna take a, a, a wide around path to the Great Fairy and see what we find up here. There's always stuff. See? There's always stuff. What is that thing? All right. Let's go back now, see if the fairy uh, respawned here. Holy cow, that's a lot of fish. Hold up. Staminoka bass? Yes. That's what I thought they were. Beautiful. Each one of those is a full stamina meter when cooked by itself. Beautiful. Dang, that thing's hard to hit. <laughs> Saw a hearty radish up here. I come to talk to the great fairy, and all I'm doing is collecting stuff and exploring. Like, all right, let's say focus, Lucian. Focus on the Great Fairy Fountain. I also need to take a picture of it, otherwise I'm wasting my time, right? Alright, the last fairy did not respawn, whatever. Let's, uh, let's just take out the old camera. The old I Shika Slate 17S. Got it. And uh, let's see if we can upgrade anything here. Hello. Mm. All right, yeah, we could upgrade our climbing gear. Awesome. I only have enough to upgrade one piece, though. Uh, let's do the the, the chest ah. piece, of course. Mm. Upgrade that armored little bit. <sighs> two more slots uh, or two more defense is always nice. And uh, unfortunately, I need more rush rooms. Yep, yep, all finished. Yep, let's see what else I can upgrade. Mm, the Hylian trousers, but like, don't I already have Hylian trousers? Yeah, they're they're right here. Uh, the cap of time. Yeah, so you need star fragment. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. Ah. Why not? I'm not gonna use star fragments for anything else. I want to upgrade the uh, mm. the complete. Ocarina of Time armor set because I think you get a, a special ability or something. <sighs> Even though I think the Cap of Time doesn't... The hair or something, something about it doesn't look quite uh -huh. right for Ocarina of Time, but it looks pretty close. <laughs> Could just be the graphics engine is so different in this game compared to that game. You know, it's hard to make it exactly look the same. All right. Cool, cool. So let's go turn in this quest real quick. I think it's just right down in uh, Kakariko Village. Go turn in this quest real quick and then... Then, uh, actually, we need to go looking for other shrines and stuff, guys. I want to try to find the other great fairies. I kind of forgot where they are. Uh, I, I vaguely remember. I know there's one in the desert area. There's one in the snow area. I think there's four or five great fairies. Yep, I found it. Here's uh, here's the picture on my iShika slate 
14S XS. It's a 45 megapixel picture. I thought it'd be more sacred and elegant. Yeah, pretty much me too. It's just a big flower in the in the ground. Wait, what? Ah, a large gate with a snowy mountain beyond it. Oh, I know that place. There's a big mountain east of this village. It's called Mount Laneru. At the base of Mount Laneru, on the west side of Nadra Snowfield, lies that gate. Screenshot that, because I'm going to forget it. Thank you for that info. Let's uh, go ahead and get a heart container while we're sitting right here. One more heart container down, boys. Let's get some hearts in the chat. Hearts in the chat. How many is that? 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. Two more. Two more heart containers. And we are done. Alright, now I actually want to go resurrect Cookie and Epona. And that is down here so let's warp over to this shrine real quick should be able to do that in no time and then from there i kind of want to start heading northwest to the rito area just to explore it a little bit and maybe discover the rito village because i would love to get the rito armor and uh, you know i i almost always never go to the desert place last so i think in this episode i will go to the desert place last let me just see if i could take opponent out i mean she did jump off the cliff but i'm not sure she actually died she might have despawned opponent can't die come on okay opponent died all right uh we're gonna go it's literally directly behind me if I'm taking a shortcut. Yep. Let's just take this shortcut over the hills right here. Actually, put on some climbing gear. Make it a little bit faster for us. What are you doing, Link? He crouched when I did not even hit the crouch button. Moa, Koa, Maka Shrine. Alright. It should be right... If we if we actually climb all the way up here, we could probably fly right down to it. I still have to find the... Oh, no, wait. Did I find the ancient uh, bridal as well? I don't even remember. Ooh, Korok Seed. I could bomb blast that way, but it's out of the way. It, it's literally out of the way. I want to go this way. Sorry. If it was this way, I would have done it. For sure. Wait, did that chest respawn? Because that's where I got this amazing demon carver weapon. Looks like it did not. We get that Korok Seed another time, guys. I never miss a Korok Seed. I simply leave it for later. They don't go anywhere. They're always going to stay where they are. I can always go back and collect it. Not a big deal. Just looking for fairies, even though I already got a couple. All right. This is it, guys. The moment where we can actually resurrect Cookie and Epona. And Cookie's been... Uh, missing for many episodes. I don't even remember which episode he died, but it was a long time. Oh, it's only a thousand? My bad. I thought it was 2,000 rupees. My bad. I could have done that a long time ago. I am revived! This one actually looks awesome. And terrifying. Now that is a great fairy fountain. 
Ho, 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 you freed my evil spirit. Now I can terrorize Hyrule for all time. Just kidding. At long last, free of that tiny bud. If my arms were corporeal, they'd have cramped for sure. And you're the only, and you're the one who set me free, are you not? The way he twitched in his head. My name is Melania. I am the god who watches over the horses of this world. I suppose you deserve a reward for setting me free. What shall I do? <laughs> shall I make you my meal? Haha, <laughs> I only jest. If a horse you loved passes away from some sort of tragic fatal accident. Looking at you, Cookie Napoda! It is within my power to revive that horse. However, if I detect vile intent behind the death of your horse, you will suffer my wrath! Oh, I only jest. Let me see. Nay. A horse, loyal and true, has fallen during your adventures. I could end you right here and now! I jest, of course. Shall I bring a companion back to travel with you once more? Let's bring him back. Uh, I can tell this horse died too to an unexpected accident. Worry not, this happens from time to time. Or all the time in my case. The horse knows that you did not mean for this to happen. What? You're acting like it's my fault the horse j ran freely of its own will off a thousand foot cliff. But yeah. Bring and bring back Cookie! We summon you! <gasps> Cookie! Cookie's alive! Oh my gosh! Next time, don't let the horse die. Oh, come on. If you're careless with their lives, you may regret it. Understand? I just, for now. Cookie, you're alive! Don't ever leave me again, Cookie. Don't ever leave me again. I missed you so much, Cookie. Here's all of your apples. The only thing is, if I summon back Epona right after I summon back Cookie, will it like, like, will it make Cookie disappear? I guess there's only one way to find out. I'm assuming they'll both uh, be out, and then like one will be out, one will be uh, in my custody or whatever. Epona was. I'm very busy. I just. Uh, you're not busy at all. He wants an Endura Carrot to bring back the horse? Fine. Could have made that song a little bit longer and cooler, but... Epona, I summon you for mockery of time. Come, fight alongside your master once again. Oh, come on. I, I set you free and I can lock you back up. Stop acting like a tough guy. No! Where did Cookie go? Cookie! Cookie! Opponent just ate your apple! Well, I'm assuming that uh, they're both alive now and, and Cookie just despawned back to uh, the stables. Let's go check that out. Make sure Cookie is in fact still alive and that was not just a phantom. That dude's lucky I missed that first shot. Cookie, I'm coming! See, Epona, this is why we have trust issues. This is actually where we uh, tamed Cookie as well, was right here. Did Cookie just go back home? Probably. Cookie's probably just chilling over there with his friends, but or else he went back to the stables. I want Cookie so, because he can teleport. I, I gave Epona some exercise. Yeah. 
Yep. Aww. We're gonna take Cookie out, and Epona will go right into the care of the stables. There Aww. we go. There's Cookie! Oh, you are looking so beautiful, Cookie. I love your mohawk. I missed you so much. Alright, guys. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. As always, please drop a like if you did. Be sure to subscribe for more Breath of the Wild content. As always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.